I'm going to show you the best way to make a table in Figma. So start by going to this plugin menu and running table creator, create table. Hit new template and you'll see loads of stuff gets added to your canvas. This is how your table is made up. And then we can just hit create table. And now we've got a really simple table made out of these main components. So to style these, all you have to do is select these main components, scroll down and where it says selection colors, you can put in your own custom colors here. And now you see we've got a super simple table. So when the plugin is running, there are some options over here that you can use, but I tend to just avoid those. And let me show you how to set it up. So you can see I filled out my table here, but if I want to change my fonts, the best place to do that is this cell component. So if I click on the header cell and then keep pressing enter to get down to the text layer, I can just change that to whatever I want. And we can even do some custom spacing there. And same again for the normal table cell. Say I want to change it to something that I'd prefer. Now I want to quickly show you how to make a custom type of cell. So I'm gonna make a rating cell. And to do that, I'm gonna very quickly make a star rating component. So we've got our star component and I'll add a variant and call that false and have that as filled. So we can have true and false. By using the keywords true and false, it means the instances of that will give us a little toggle, which is useful. So then now that I've got this internal component set up, all I have to do is create five instances of it, turn that into its own component and just call that star rating. And over here, if I go to add property, I can expose property from nested instances. So now when I've got an instance of this, I can very quickly turn on however many stars I want. Next, I'll go to my cells and create a new cell type. So just where it says two variants, click plus to make a third, let's call that rating. And then I'm gonna copy that star rating uh, instance and where I've got content text, I'm gonna hit command shift R to just replace that entirely and maybe scale that down to 0.75. Now to make use of this rating cell, all I have to do is double click the cells that I want to be rating and change it over here. And I can do that for multiple cells at a time just by holding down command when I'm clicking to deep select. And then I've got rating. And as you'll notice, I can't change my stars here. All we have to do is go to our cell component and add a new property, which is exposed properties from nested instances. And now whenever we click onto a cell, we'll be able to change ratings as we see fit. And because we're using table creator, if we wanted to reorder these columns, all I have to do is grab a cell and go left or right. And because it's all set up with auto layout, I just need to do that with the header column and that works. I can also rearrange the rows and that just works. So this has been a super quick intro to the Table Creator plugin, which is definitely the best way of making tables in Figma. Thanks so much to Gavin for making this plugin. It's so, so useful. And thank you for watching this video. If you found it useful, please do hit subscribe. I've got way more videos coming out in the future with quick tips on how to use Figma like this. Cheers.